pray to go show me the way Lord I pray to go won't you show me the way oh, Lord I want to go show me the way take me by my hand and lead me on my grandmama used to sing that y'all she used to get up on Sunday morning and I used to hear her singing Lord I want to go show me the way Lord I want to go just show me the way Lord I want to go show me the way I need you to take me by my hand and lead me on oh yeah good morning good afternoon good evening to you family first and foremost let me welcome you to the place that I call the mental house um, where we deal with some of this madness that we've normalized for decades um, and now we've kind of realized that this ship be sinking right but the next this this right here is so damn insane that um, I want to bring this to y'all and I don't know maybe a lot of y'all heard about it because the picture looked like two sausage laying in the skillet with some red radiation around it, okay? And this is supposed to be a new variant of that thing. Now, check this out. Cryptic um, thing, 19 lineages, are a new version of the virus that haven't been seen before. These monsters is biological and chemical warfare on us. Please believe me when I tell you. This this is okay. A researcher says one person now. Remember the monkey in Africa that gave everybody AIDS? A researcher says one person in Ohio is shedding massive amounts of a new kind of the, the thing. The damn thing. Okay? Identifying people with a mysterious strain can help scientists to preempt dangerous mutations. Lord have mercy. What the? Earlier this year, Mark Johnson, a professor at uh, Molecule Microbiology and Immunology at the University of Missouri School of Medicine, took to Twitter with an appeal. He said, help me solve the thine cryptid lineage mystery. Johnson told Insider that he was looking through a database of thine samples when he came across a new version. Forget about the moral crime. Forget about all that other shit you got. You heard. Here goes some more stuff for you. The lineage of the virus. There were massive amounts of this unique strain all coming from one mystery person that lives in Ohio. What? I can't make this stuff up. I can't make it up. One mystery person in Ohio. Johnson told the insider that he was looking through a, a, through a database and came up with this new version or lineage. The viral material has been primarily found at two sites. The city of Columbus and 40 miles away in the city of Washington Courthouse. Johnson says the person may live in one city and work in the other. 
he says that this isn't an imminent public health threat and that the person likely has a form of long COVID that thine that isn't contagious but finding these lineages and identifying people who spread them could unlock new rules into how this thing mutates as well as why some people become super shedders of the virus for long periods. I can't, I can't, I don't understand this. I guess I'm not a scientist because it sounds at this point like madness. Um, it said this cryptic thing lineage is showing how the virus can mutate in many new ways. Johnson also told Insider that he had been identifying cryptic COVID lineages in wastewater and nationwide since 2021. These strains don't match anything like we've seen before, he said, adding that SARS and COVID-2 still has some tricks up his sleeve and plenty we didn't know. So while these cryptic strands have only been identified in wastewater, they could be harboring of future variants. Long before Amara crime emerged, researchers were collecting samples of COVID that they, they didn't recognize. Cryptic lineage that we now understand to be similar to the Amara crime, but not the Amara crime. Not yet peer reviewed in this article they said according to the preprint paper uh, the first cryptic COVID lineage Johnson found was in 2021 and it was a classic example of his discoveries there was so much virus in the wastewater that he thought it was coming from a nursing home or maybe an animal reservoir like a dog shelter but his team traced it to a single office building what in Wisconsin with about 30 employees what the oh my god and did he come down to Milwaukee yet tell me is you listening to this do you hear this Oh, Lord. I didn't believe a person could shed that much. The workers in the building were notified and were able to get tested. Eventually, the lineage disappeared from the wastewater. Lord Jesus. Now the situation is replaying in Ohio. Oh, so, it, so it's been here playing out. I didn't even know it. Johnson and his Twitter followers have narrowed down the list to about 1,600 people. The number of people who make the daily commute from Washington Courthouse to Columbus, according to the U.S. Census data. While some have voiced concerns that he might be invading people's medical privacy, there's no manhunt going on. The only reason he's being public about the situation, he said, is that the hope that someone will seek help after recognizing that themselves a friend or a family member has a cryptic lineage. Now how in the hell are we going to know that? How? How? If someone has this infection the chances that they're going to figure it, figure it out is nil. Adding that there is currently no test available in the U.S. to test stool for COVID. I'm trying to get the word out so they might figure it out and put it together. What the? In Sam's tarnation. Johnson says the person is likely experiencing gastrointestinal symptoms and may not even know they have a long COVID infection. He says he hopes the person recognizes they are shedding the virus and goes to see a doctor. I would love to know the details. How the hell he gonna know it's him? <laughs> Y'all, stop it. Somebody come and call in the Calvary.
Oh, Lord Jesus. Anyway. I, I, I can't. L listen, I need to know what y'all think. Uh, I would like for you, anybody that's under the sound of my voice that likes the commentary, please, uh, if you want to help the channel and donate to the channel to help it grow, that would really be very much appreciated. And you can help in all kinds of ways. You can help by watching the commercials. I know they're kind of boring, but I'll try to do better. See if we can find some that work out. Uh, support the advertisers that are on the page if you see fit. But more importantly for me, it's important that you like the video. Just put it, or you can not like it. It don't really matter. Just let me know that you out there and that you breathing. Uh, with that being said, if you like what you hear, please, please subscribe to the channel. Like the video, and I'm going to see y'all in the next go-round.